So, what is bipolar disorder? And should you take medications? Your medications. Medications you already have. That you're not taking anymore. Or get diagnosed and get medications. This is very important. You know, years ago, and relatively recently, when I was, uh, years ago I was diagnosed with bipolar, I would go on what I call them, my kids better to call them med vacations. And I would go on them, go off them for a day or two at a time to feel mania, drink coffee, stay up all night, get really mad, I could feel good. And I noticed something. Later on, I just kind of naturally stopped doing that. Started taking my bipolar meds constantly, religiously, morning, night, morning, night, morning, night, getting my labs done, um, my kidney and liver function, uh, everything. And I, I, I received what I paid for. I actually started becoming very happy, very uh, complete, very, along with the Buddhism I practice, I became very, very happy, very, uh, not cycling so much up and down, not having so many moods with irritability, feeling a hell of a lot better in life. And that's what I'm saying. Some of you bipolars will take uh, med vacations. You'll go off so you can get med again, or you'll take the medications and think, oh, I feel better now, I'll go off now that I'm cured. It's not true. You won't be cured. You have bipolar. Until they come for a cure, you're always going to be bipolar. So the first thing I want to talk about is take your meds. Take your meds. Trust me, it's not worth paying for. You might go off your meds for 24 to 36 hours. You might get really manic and enjoy it and feel like you're God again and feel like you're on top of the world so it will help people and do good deeds. But trust me, it's not worth it. It's not worth paying for it later because then you're going to start cycling. You're going to be up all night for nights at a time. You're going to be up for almost two days straight and then you have to sleep for 24 hours. If you work for a living, I don't because I'm disabled. If you work for the... If you have to go to school, college, university, or high school, whatever, you know, you need your schedule to be uh, good. So you got to be responsible. Take your meds religiously morning and night. Don't miss a dose. Don't ever miss a dose. You can possibly avoid it. Because, trust me, you'll, you'll know why over the course of a year or two, six months, whatever, of taking them religiously, you'll feel better. The more you take them, the better they work. As long as you don't miss a dose. Now, when you do miss dose, it's sort of a lot of med vacations like I used to. Just get manic and enjoy coffee and become more intelligent, which, by the way, if you're super manic, you're super intelligent. When I'm super manic, I've tested as high as 139 in IQ scores. When I'm not manic and on my meds, I've tested as low as 122, which is 24 points above the national average in America, which is nice. Um, you know... When I don't take my meds, and I go on day or two med vacations, and I don't take them, and I take them again, I don't feel the best. I get mood swings, irritability. Yeah, I feel man, I can get it first, but trust me, it's not worth taking med vacations to have to pay for what you're going to have to pay for later on in your experience with bipolar disorder when you don't take your meds religiously. Trust me, it's worth it. I mean, if you absolutely have to do that, guys, my fellow bipolars, just take your meds, um, go on a day or two med vacation, once in a blue moon. We're talking once in a blue moon. Maybe for like 36 hours, maybe. Maybe miss like, maybe you could miss like uh, two doses. So you take your morning meds, you miss your night meds, you miss your morning meds, take your night meds again the next night, okay? Because that's going to be about 36 hours off your meds. You can get manic, enjoy the coffee, stay up all night, relax, chill on a weekend, right? But eventually don't do it again for another six months. Because it's important. I wouldn't even recommend that. I would recommend what most psychiatrists would recommend, which is take your meds religiously. Don't miss them. Um, don't think you're cured because you feel better. And go off the meds because you're not. You're just feel horrible again. Uh, don't take medications. If you absolutely have to, you absolutely have to, then you know, do, do one in a blue moon, like 36 hours, 24 hours, you know, 
once in a blue moon. Like once, twice a year, tops. Don't make habits of this, guys, because you're gonna pay for it later. It's not worth what you pay for it later, you know? <laughs> so what is bipolar disorder? Do you think you're bipolar? Do you think maybe you are bipolar? I know I'm bipolar. I've been diagnosed with bipolar since I was 13. Um, here's a tip, by the way, for bipolar. So just put it on lithium. If you're on, if you're bipolar, you're probably either going to be on lithium or Depakote. And you might be on an antipsychotic to work with the lithium. That's why I'm on Risper also. If, if you're on this, this drug lithium, it's hard on your kidneys and liver. And it will make you have to pee like crazy at first. You probably already noticed this. You're peeing like crazy now. You're, you're running to the bathroom. I mean, a few drops come out. Look, here's the thing, okay? Always, I mean always, don't mess around. Like, if you have to go, go. Don't try to do what I did, which is hold it in when I was in eighth grade, whatever, when I first got in lithium. You know, hold it in. Oh, I'll be okay. I can hold it till I get home. Don't. Always go. Even if you're only going two drops, what happens? Just go. Trust me. Why? Because when I was 13 in eighth grade, I was just getting used to lithium. It was the first six months of me taking the med. And I was wearing all black, corduroy pants, don't judge, don't judge. Corduroy, they were popular back then. Shut up. Why well, you kids today watch this video like, corduroy pants, you're a loser. No, I was, I wore corduroy pants. They were cool back then, okay? So shut the hell up. Corduroy pants, okay? A black silk button shirt. When I peed my pants there, no one knew. No one knew. Mom kept picking me up, I went home. No one knew. If someone found out about that, I would have been ruined in high school. It would follow me into high school. You know how kids are, you know. So it's important that you always do that because always use the bathroom when you can. Get a doctor's note for your teachers, you know, or for work to say if you have to go to the bathroom, you need to go to the bathroom. As you probably probably already know is if you just start taking lithium that you really have to pee out a lot. So take care of that. With bipolar disorder, you think you have it, you're probably gonna have mood swings, okay? You're definitely gonna have mood swings some of the time. Um, you're gonna get manic, right? And that involves going on shopping sprees, being impaired, doing risky business, like having to take sex, um, doing things you wouldn't normally do, which can affect your life, ruin friendships, uh, stay up late, feel really euphoric, and basically just jack your credit cards like I did and then default on them like I did. And I'm proud of that. When you fall, what goes up must come down with bipolar disorder. If you go up for three months straight, you're eventually going to come down. And when you come down, you're going to crash hard. Well, the higher you've been, the longer you've been up there, the, the harder you're going to crash. You're going to crash to depression. And not just any old depression, suicidal depression. you got to work through that. Okay. I will say this, there may come a time, which does for about, maybe I'd say about half people go through this, where some people, they get to a point in their late 20s, early 30s, where the depression burns out. It burns out. So, like my did, for example, you won't feel as bad. You won't feel as bad. And, uh, but, the, but the depression will kick in. It's not uncommon for a bipolar in his lifetime to have hundreds of thousands of fleeing suicidal thoughts and dozens of suicide attempts under the belt. So, excuse me, uh, just understand that this is normal for you. You're bipolar, you know. You're cycling back and forth. If you're cycling, I believe it's if you're cycling from bipolar, mania to depression, more often than say once every three months, I believe. You're a rabbit cycling bipolar like I am. So, that can be better though in a certain sense in my humble opinion because when you're a rabbit cycling bipolar, yeah, you're really manic a lot and you, and you change a lot. But when you're depressed, you also come back up a lot really quickly. So it's not like you have to stay depressed for a year straight. Some bipolars are like that. They're depressed for two years straight. They're manic for a year straight. Well, I think it might be fun to be manic for a year straight. I don't want to be. I'm impaired when I'm manic. I make bad decisions. I do bad things. Things that affect my life, my friendships. And then I have to fall into depression if I wasn't around but I'd be bipolar. And I'd be depressed for a year or two. Can't handle that. Can't do it. 
I'm glad, I'm glad I'm a rapid cycling by more. In my humble opinion, it's better to be a rapid cycler. Okay. But if you're having these symptoms, you probably are bipolar. It's not hard to figure out. Get to a psychiatrist, tell them your story, get you on meds. You're not going to like the meds, trust me. You're not going to like the way, the way they make you feel all the time. You're not going to like the fact that they make you pee like crazy with lithium. You're not going to like this. That's a small price to pay. For those of you wondering how long it takes to get used to lithium, I'll tell you my experience. Within the first two years of me being on lithium was the most used to it I got. I was pretty used to it after that. Until about 20 years later, though, being on it, until I was about 33, that's when I stopped actually running to the bathroom every time. Drop the phone. I was running to the bathroom for years to pee. It was like every pee was an emergency. But now, after 20 years, though, I'd stopped doing that. But it wasn't that really all that bad for two years. Two years, you'll be a good amount used to it. So if you're like six months in, you got a ways to go. You'll be okay. That's with lithium. Okay. Depakote's different. I don't like Depakote. I had to go on Depakote for a while once because the lithium caused renal disease. And then it went away. I went back on lithium. But the Depakote makes you feel shitty. I don't like Depakote. I don't like that at all. It doesn't work as well as lithium does. Lithium is the, is the best drug for bipolar, by the way. Wouldn't it be Risperdal or Seroquel to support it and a psychotic? Um, look at me. I'm so open about my illnesses. I'm talking to strangers on the internet. I don't care. I'm going shit, okay? If you don't like it, don't watch my videos and screw off. If you don't want to, if you don't like the fact that I have issues, um, if you can't accept who I am, I don't want you in my life. And, uh, if you were going to watch my videos, I peace and love people, I right, mostly. So they'll accept me who I am. My commenters, my few commenters I have in my videos are very nice to me. So, very positive peeps, not negative Nellies. <laughs> but yeah, bipolar is a serious, serious lifelong affliction, and uh, it's if you have these rapid cycles, you have these ups and downs, extreme highs and lows emotionally, and mood swings, irritability, uh, shopping spree when you're manic, uh, doing crazy risky things when you're when you're manic. Um, you may very well be bipolar. But I would go to a psychiatrist, I would. Hopefully you have health insurance. Half the country doesn't. Yeah, thanks Trump. Appreciate it. Half the country doesn't have health insurance. You know, are you insane? Half the country. Really? Why would we put up with this without rioting in the streets for that? We're used to it over time slowly. We need to riot in the streets. Until the government says, hey, okay, we'll give you all health insurance. I have health insurance. But I know people who don't. And they should have it. I don't understand conservatives who say things like, oh, we don't believe in universal health care. Like, dude, so basically you're saying these homeless veterans should die on the streets with no money, no job, no clothes to an interview, no address to phone number to put down so they can't get a job, no health insurance, and you think they should die on the streets because you don't want to pay a little more taxes. Not to mention the fact that Bernie wanted to tax the billionaires. Bernie wanted to tax the billionaires. I'm voting for Bernie in the primary. I don't care what he dropped out or not. I love that guy. He's great. Bernie's great. Bernie's my man. Elizabeth Warren, pretty good. But Bernie, great. Uh, Biden doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. Never will. Pretty sure has Alzheimer's like his counterpart, Trump. If you don't like what I'm saying, I really don't care. These guys are douches. Seriously, I'm not voting for either of them. I refuse. I'm writing in Bernie. That's what I'm going to vote for. You know, like it, tough shit. Um, we need over you health insurance. You can get to a good psychiatrist, have way decent one. And uh, you can uh, diagnose, get meds. And remember, you will need to get labs done every six months. A good doctor will get your labs every six months. If they don't, get a new doctor or ask them to do it because you gotta get kidney function checked out liver uh, all this stuff uh, potassium uh, vitamin D um, 
because lithium can do numbers to you. I had renal disease for a while because of lithium. So be careful with that. Get get tested for all that stuff. Do full labs for your lithium levels. Uh, do them. Um, Every six months or so, or maybe, or maybe to be safe for three months, get get tested, get labs, so you know your kidneys are okay, your liver's okay. So are you bipolar? Well, only you can decide that. You got to measure out the symptoms I gave you, the possible symptoms. Get to a doctor, get diagnosed, check it out. Should you take your meds? Yes. Don't take med vacations like I used to. Trust me, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. I used to take med vacations so I could. Uh, save up beds for emergencies. Uh, like a, a nuclear holocaust or whatnot. Or the dollar collapsing. Which it will one day, by the way. It will, will. It's the experts saying this. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Take your meds. Every day, night, night and morning, religiously. Trust me, you'll, you'll thank me in about a year or two when you're stable for that long. The longer you take your meds for, the better they work. And just because you feel better on the bipolar doesn't mean that you should stop taking the meds. Then you're going to feel shitty again. Trust me, you're going to be mad for a while. You're going to fall in depression. You might kill yourself. I don't want that for you. I love you. Don't kill yourself. Stay on your bipolar meds. No matter how shitty they are, how shitty they make you feel, stay on them. Trust me, you'll feel better in the end. Over time, the longer you take them, six months, a year, two years, three years, the better you feel, the better they work, the more you take them. So it's important. Okay. okay. I love you guys very much. Very much. My peeps. And may the peace and joy of your Buddha natures stay with you at all times. And may you find true peace and joy in your lives, as I have found. Thank you. I love you.